Finally tonight, she wanted to help folks learn about the past, but clashed head on with the present. Steve Hartman met her on the road. In Sedalia, Missouri, an old cliche runs through the center of town. Here, the railroad track still separates the mostly black part of Sedalia from the mostly white. And it is on the black side that a white woman built this, a slave cabin, complete with cotton crop. It has not gone over well. No, I don't like it. Just brings back thoughts of, you know, injustice. That's like building a concentration camp in an all-Jewish neighborhood. With so much racial tension in America, you've got to wonder why anyone would build such a thing. Then again, with so much racial tension in America, you might want to step inside before you judge. We need to come together. 85-year-old Marge Harlan built the slave cabin on the same property where she'd already erected a black history library. We have a whole collection of books. These can all be checked out. She opened the library in 2013 partly to try to start a conversation about race in her community. All your money to do this? Yes. She spent more than $150,000 on it, yet almost no one cared or came. The library was going nowhere. You're trying to think of a way to bring more people in. And to talk. Build it, they will come. Right. You've got to walk through your history. You, you can't just step over it and pretend it's not there. Which brings us back to the cabin. Like a, Marge, a retired psychologist, really thought the community needed and would flock to this piece of the past. And she does get more visitors now. They're just not always the kind of encounters she was hoping for. So I would rather have something that's more uplifting than a slave shack. This is Preston Poindexter. Preston had nothing good to say about the building. But as he vented, he did find something to admire in the architect. I mean, I understand where you was coming from. You came, you came in good heart. Whenever the subject is race in America, we're often quick to judge. We're often better at outrage than understanding. But here in Sedalia, in this moment, Marge Harlan and Preston Poindexter showed us that a motive still trumps a misstep. Can I give you a hug? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and a hug <laughs> is still the best place to start. You're a wonderful guy. Steve Hartman guy on the road awful. in Sedalia, Missouri. <laughs> and that's the CBS Evening News for tonight. For all of us at CBS News all around the world, I'm Scott Pelley. I'll see you Sunday on 60 Minutes. Good night.